everyone. My name is Joyful Judy, and thank you all for joining me. I'm going to talk about faith. Yes, Lord. F-A-I-T-H. It takes faith to continue to go each every day. So I'm going to read this to you. But before I go into reading the Word of God, I wanted to say this to you. Faith is something that you have to say is going to happen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things unseen. And you believe in it, even if you don't see it. So I'm going to read this to you. Don't forget to have faith. It takes faith to go to the elevator, press the button, and believe it's going to get you to the floor that you press. Say you get in the elevator, you press the fourth floor. You believe the elevator is going to take you to the fourth floor. So I'm going to read some scripture verses to you today to let you have faith. I hope you have some faith, everyone. Okay. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 and 70, it says, I pray that our glorious riches and may be strengthened, you and the power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you root and be established in love. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, we have the faith to go to believe, to believe in what we heal the when we receive the word of God and also in Hebrew 11 1 now this is my favorite verse all my favorite but this is one of my favorites says now faith is confident in what you hope for let me read this again everyone in Hebrew 11 verse 1 I'm gonna read this slowly now, um, faith is the confidence that what we hope for and the showing what we do not see. You don't have to see it to believe it. You just have to imagine it and receive it. I'll say this to you again. You don't have to see it to believe it. You can just imagine it and receive it. I got to give that to you one more time. You don't have to see it to believe it. You just have to imagine it and receive it right here. Faith, everyone. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 to 7, for we live by faith and not by sight. There's another scripture verse. It's the same line. It says, the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. That's the King James Version. And the NIV Version said, we live by faith and not by sight. Because if we live by everything we see, then it doesn't take faith. I see it. I get it. I see it. No. Suppose you cannot see. How do you believe? It's a trust in Jesus Christ. Trust in our God. Here we go. In Romans chapter 15, 13, it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy, peace, as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You get hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to show you what my shirt says, everyone. It says faith. F-A-I-T-H. Faith. And you got to believe and receive the faith. You don't have to see it. Receive it. Hallelujah. You may be expecting something. You may be um, hoping for something. Receive it with your heart. Because sometimes you can see something and you, and you say, okay, I'm going to get it because I see it. No. Receive it before you see it. Receive it. Say, no matter what, it's right here in my heart. Think of somebody who is visually blind and they cannot see physically, but they can still have faith to walk to a destination to get where they're going. And here I'm going to say it again. I'm going to read in James chapter 1, 6. It says, but we ask, you must believe and not doubt. Here it is, everyone. This is in James 1, 5. 
and we ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubt is like a wave of a sea, bow and tossed it by wind. You must believe and not doubt. Receive the faith. We live, walk in the faith. Receive it, believe it, and walk in your faith. It's, it's free, everyone. Walk in the spirit of faith. Believe that God is faithful. Believe that he cannot lie. His word is a lie. When you hear something and you know it without a doubt, receive it. You, have to, you don't have to see it. But when you believe it, it will come to pass. When you believe it and receive the faith and say, God is faithful. I know it without a doubt. That's where it's going to happen because it's not by what you see, it's who you know. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, you know our Father God. So we receive it, believe it, and never tell it. Because the Bible said the just shall live by faith. And who are the just? The body of Christ. People who gave their life to Jesus Christ. The saints, we are, the just shall live by faith. It's not about what we see. It's who we know. It's not about how we look for it. To no, we wait for God. The just should live by faith. We see it, we believe it, and receive it. Because God is faithful. Even when we're not faithful, God is faithful to his word. He cannot lie. So receive it. Believe it. And achieve it. And we, we can't achieve anything. We can't do anything. But when I say achieve it, it's, it's like achieving. It's like going towards something that you know is there for you because God gave you his word. And when I use the word achieve it, it's like you have a boat. You got the ticket, but you just got to get on the boat. And yes, we, are, we didn't do anything ourselves to deserve all this goodness of God. But it takes faith. To just go and do something and achieve it. When I say achieve, it's not anything we did, but what God has for us to receive it. So believe it, receive it, and just watch what God will do. Just watch it. Watch it. It could be like that job you wanted for. You heard about this job. You know in your spirit it's for you. Are you going to sit home and say, oh, it's going to come to me? No, you're going to get dressed and you're going to go on a job interview. Or you're going to email the employer, employee, and, and you're going to email them, right? You're going to do something about it because God is faithful. You want to have children. Okay. You and your husband get together and have a baby. You're going to do something to have that baby, right? Or you may go to adoption agency and, and, and have a baby like that way. Whatever way God give it to you, you see, you receive it, believe it. Because the judge should live by faith. The judge is the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. Believe, receive it, and don't doubt it. When you believe it, receive it, and don't doubt it, it has to come to pass. Because God's word cannot lie. He, he's not a man that he should lie. So everyone... God is faithful. God is true. Go walk in the spirit of faith. Because God is faithful. And God says in the word, if you have more minute faith, faith is small but mustard seed. Do you know how small it He says, a small mustard seed faith, a, a little tiny mustard seed is like a small, a, a, like a pinch of thought. If you have a small faith is dead, God will say you can move the mountain. Move a mountain by faith? What are you waiting for? God is faithful. He's not a man that he should lie. So go after it. He's waiting for you to just believe and receive what he says. What he says. Go. Believe it. Pray. Receive it. Walk towards that. Whatever God has given you. And God is faithful. He's faithful. I just want to share that with you. I'm going to share another verse with you. Hallelujah. 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 In Hebrews 11 verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. I got to say this again. Hebrews 11 6. Without faith. 
faith, it's impossible to please God. Why is it it's impossible to please God? Because if you hear the word of God and you don't receive in your heart by faith, it's impossible to believe, please God. Because God doesn't want us to believe what we see. God wants to believe who he is. It's impossible to please God. It's so easy to get things with our flesh. What we see with our eye, right in front of us. Let's get it. Let's know. God said he wants to have faith. And when, and when it looks like it's impossible, it's not impossible with God because God is faithful. What God said, all things are possible through him. All things are possible to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So if you have faith and believe God, I'm going to read again in Hebrews 11, 6, it says, And without faith, it's impossible to please God. And now I'm going to continue to read from Hebrews chapter 6, it says, Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. Anyone that comes to him must believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, that he saved our life, our souls, and that he reward those who earnestly seek him. Hallelujah. If you're a child of God and you gave your life to Jesus Christ and you earnestly seek him, you praise him, you worship him, you serve him, you obey him, you believe that God holds no good things back for those who love him. So God's going to give you the desire of your heart. The word of God cannot lie. So you believe by faith and stand on his word. Watch what will happen in your life. God has did it for me over and over and over. Right now he did it for me every day. God is faithful. Trust in him. The word of God said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding and all thy way acknowledge him and he will direct your path god will direct your path get up get dressed go where god tell you to go god is faithful and you have heard from god and you receive it with your heart he did it he will continue to do it because you're his child he says you who are evil give good gift to your children. How much God will give you the Holy Spirit? How much God will give you the order to save your heart? So God is faithful. And as the man said to Jesus, and the soldier says, Lord, not that I don't believe, increase my unbelief. Ask God, say, God, help me. I'm struggling with this. Help me. Watch what God do in your life. He's going to do what he said. If you're a child of God, you've been serving him for many years. You love and worship him in spirit and truth. God will do what he said in your life. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. God is faithful. I'm a living testimony. God is faithful to all of us in the body of Christ. He's so good. So remember the judge should live by faith. And before I leave everyone, I'm going to, I'm going to say a prayer, but I just want to share this with you. God is moving and he is directing his children path. When we acknowledge him, he said he would direct our path. So whatever you're going through right now, just pray to him and he will direct you where to go, where to do, or who to call, or where to go. God said in all thy way, when you acknowledge him, he will direct your path. If you're struggling with anything right now, whatever situation you may go through, pray to God, talk to him, listen to him, and he will direct your path. You're his child. He's faithful. He's faithful, everyone. So, uh, I just want to end that this. God is faithful. And for any of you who are out there who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, God is faithful even when you don't know him. But this one thing that God has for you is eternal life in heaven when you give your life to Jesus Christ who died for our sins. Jesus Christ died on the cross and hung for you and I. And this faith is available to you. And when I said this faith is available to you, because when you repent of your sin like I did, we repent, what happens is his spirit comes inside of you. And he'll change you and he changes us every day. From image to image to his glory. And what will happen, we will get stronger in him. And we can trust him with 
everything because he's God and Jesus Christ is our Lord when we give our life to him. So I'm going to say this prayer. And God is so faithful, everyone. When you say this prayer, he'll give you his gift, his confidence. So I'm going to say this prayer. And I hope you say this prayer too. And once you give your life to Christ, you have so much joy. And not just joy, you have his presence. And you will have the faith that God will give you to trust in him. So I'm going to say this prayer. And I hope you say this with me. Lord, Father, God. I thank you for this day and I thank you for this time. Father God, I am listening and I want you to touch my heart. Speak to me, Father. Help me to follow you. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart and make me a new person. I heard, Lord, and I believe that you are faithful. Change me and live inside of me and take away my sins. And I thank you, Father, forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory be to God. God is so faithful. And I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Until next time, don't forget God is good and God is faithful. He's so faithful. Faithful is our God. Glory be to God for he is so faithful. He's faithful and he cannot lie. Woo, he cannot lie. What a mighty God we serve. <laughs> well, so everyone, um, I just want to say this to you before I leave. I hope that you, that would just, I hope it touched you today. And if it did, please um, write a message down. To, if you gave your life to Jesus Christ, write it down. Let me know. Um, also, those who gave their life to Christ Jesus, um, get a Bible, um, King James Version or NIV Version. Or you can go online and there's a lot of um, Bible verses online. Just click in if you don't have a Bible. And what you can do also is um, try to go online and go to Bible study online. Um, there are many Bible apps online that's free that you can just download and you study the Bible until you get a Bible, you know. Some places offer Bible free. So please get a Bible and start reading it. And when you read it, pray. Pray to God. Say, God, show me where you want me to go today. And then later on, you go to a church, a church that would just encourage you because we need other saints. We need other brothers and sisters to, you know, study with and grow, okay? So I hope you do that. Don't forget to uh, reach out. Uh, if you need to um, talk to me, uh, my email, Joyful Judy, my email, just my email is right down below. Um, my email, you can click on this uh, video and go to my page and you get my email. And trust me, when you email me, I will definitely write you back. And I just want you to know this, um, God is faithful and I want you to be um, encouraged and let you know that Jesus loves you so, so much. He loves you so much that he cares about your needs. He cares about what you're going through and he sees you. God sees you so. He sees you and he loves you so much. So I'm excited about your new, your new beginning, new beginning, okay? I'm sorry about your new beginning. Also, I want to say this. As I'm about to go, I also want to say that thank you everyone for watching and thank you all for listening. And I pray, I pray that um, remember that not only God is faithful, he's good and he cannot lie. So this is a great day for a lot of you who gave your life to Jesus Christ and for those who know God. God is so good, everyone. Thank you all again. Thank you. Don't forget, God is good. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. God is so faithful. He has me. Listen, I, I was out today doing a lot of things. Just enjoying the day. Thanking God for this day and going out doing this. God is so faithful that he speaks to this vessel 
for his glory, for that one soul or that two soul, wherever God business is his business. But one thing about God, he's so faithful and God is so good. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.